What's up, YouTube? I'm going to show you how to import 3D models into Roblox as meshes. So, you want to go to Google Chrome, and you want to go find a low-poly 3D model, because it has to be less than 5,000 polys. So, I found this one, and once you found the one that's less than 5,000 polys, download it. And it must be a 3D file format that is not mtl or else that will not work because it does not support that in the machine so while we're downloading that you need fbx converter so just go on the internet and search fbx converter and you'll see the first one which is autodesk fbx converter so then you just want to download it and it's for all operating systems and i think if you have ubuntu you can run it but um once you did that, extract your 3D model, and let me just close this. Then you want to open up the Autodesk FBX converter, and it's very fast. Like, the program is amazing. Like, there's no lag or anything. So you want to open up your thing, and as you can see, I can't click MTL, but I have this texture, which I'm going to add to mine later. So you upload textures as decals. So I'm just going to open this. And convert it. Once I did that, I'm gonna um, close out of this, go back to Roblox, right click, and go to insert object and then mesh part. Then I'm gonna go to mesh ID where it says mesh ID and then click here. Then I'm gonna load the FBX file and it may take a minute, but then you have this imported. And for the size, I usually make it all the same, but I think it just depends. What is the size at right now? I'm actually going to make this 831. Oh, that's way too big. Huh? I'll just kind of mess around with it. And, as you can see, I got it, and you can increase the size in it. And then, for the decals, you're going to go to this and find decal and put it on this. Once you did that, you're going to go to this. And for the texture, you're going to go here and then switch back to your classic view and then I'm gonna go to um, where is it um, decals and then after that I'm gonna choose file and I'm gonna that is not a decal then I'm going to go into this, and I'm going to go to maps, where my thing is. Yours may be called something different. And I'm going to upload it as Iron Man, or whatever you really want to upload it as. And then, to upload your mesh, all you're going to do... I think I need to make this thing bigger. There we go. Looks better. And then, you can upload it as a mesh by going to file save to Roblox and then you can save it as a mesh or a model and I think I just go to I think you have to go to I don't know how you upload them exactly but mm, still awesome and then if you want to like do other things like say I make a insert a new part and then I can insert a special mesh I think and then I can insert this and then I'll have my own tiny little arm man that I can mess around with so that's how you import meshes into Roblox and if I go into my decals maybe it oh that's not uh my decals arm man I put it on this and it's fully done! That looks awesome, and it's in Roblox. 
So, that's how you upload meshes to Roblox, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just going to save this to Roblox real quick. Um, save to Roblox as Iron Man. I'm just going to save. Nothing. I'm going to keep it as locked. And that's how you upload meshes to Roblox. Looks amazing. Like, as you can see, the whole texture's on it. I think this is from Iron Man 2, like, the textures. But look, like, the whole model's in here. And if I test, I don't know how big it's going to be. Might be huge. As you can see, you can see the Iron Man character. And it's awesome! I hope you guys enjoyed, and please like and subscribe. Bye!